Coming from a 20 years of financial services background, consumer banking, I said, this is the chance. You got to jump out of the corporate world and make this happen and solve the problem which you personally faced in your life. I'd had no idea about finance before I started my Bitcoin journey. I decided to quit my job and come to Hong Kong. I thought that this was definitely something that can change the world for the better. Finance is absolutely core to everything we're doing in terms of work, you know, socializing, family, everything else. So if there is a manner in which you can apply technology or innovation to make that experience you know, cleaner, easier, cheaper, smoother, that's an exciting opportunity opportunity because the impact you can have is huge. You know, the banking industry really hasn't changed in a hundred years. Uh, the model has persisted and it's persisted because nobody has, has been able to disrupt it. But I have never been more bullish in terms of change in my career. I think we're on the cusp of real change. FinTech is just generally around the world is hot. We're seeing the Hong Kong people itself and the people in the region begin to seriously look at fintech. Because it's moving extremely fast, like uh, I've been in the space for the past three years. Uh, what's happening today, uh, we couldn't have believed it like, uh, even like a year ago, that's crazy. Well, I think that's a really exciting area which gets me out of bed every morning and you, know, you look at the growth of Airbnb and Uber and all of these other shared economy type business models, how can we apply that learning to finance? mail to email, to chat to WeChat and WhatsApp, commerce, travel, everything has been disrupted by technology. And you've seen it in every other vertical, every other industry, whether it's travel or manufacturing or retail. I just think the, the last big industry to fall is going to be financial services, and I'm very excited to be in the middle of that. And the tech sector moves very quickly, and uh, if the finance sector does not get on board with this new rapid pace of innovation, they might get left behind. Most of the banks are currently realizing that the financial services are about to get completely changed. If we look at five to ten years down the road, banks that are not doing anything will no longer exist. We see Asia as having huge potential within fintech. Huge amount of unbanked people. India, China, Indonesia, Philippines. We need to bring these people in so that uh, we can grow our economies within our consumer market. And we think that Hong Kong as a gateway to China also offers great possibilities for future growth as well. So if you're looking to start a fintech business, uh, it is a very easy place to not only get started, but to also reach these new customers and uh, make the right meetings with the right people. It is a unique city globally where I think we can really drive a lot of innovation. I personally very much believe that Hong Kong is, is going to be the Asian fintech hub. We have big room for everyone to make it bigger. Right now the, the, the problem or the challenge is to make the cake bigger. We must uh, make sure that we can stay ahead in the fintech area in order to be overall competitive.